and 91.7. Naja has a new registration for women and their families. Good evening, my name is Sumtu Titilayo Ajama, and I thank you all for joining me this evening, Tuesday, the 1st of February, 2022. How are you doing? I hope your day has been lovely. I welcome you to adult conversations where we share real life issues and discuss matters relating to the heart. Here in adult conversations, you give all the advice by contributing on the subject matter without judging. Adult conversations in women radio runs every Monday through Thursday because we are here to break the culture of silence. So if you have a story that you want us to bring to the family of adult conversations, all you need to do is to send your story along with your name and contact number. <coughs> Excuse me. Send your story along with your name and contact number to 0703 175 6537. 0703 175 6537. Tonight on Adult Conversations. Mama wants a DNA test. Mama wants a DNA test. My name is Chukudi, 32, and a manufacturer. My wife is 27 and a trader. We have two girls. My mother, who lives with us, suddenly told me to run a DNA test on my children. She has refused to give a reason. I told her I can't because I trust my wife. Mama has left the house and refused to speak to me. I haven't informed my wife about this. My elder sister advised me to do what Mama wants. Should I? And that's the story tonight. Today is like to see a manufacturer. His wife is 27, she's a trader, and they have two daughters. So that his mother lives with them, and according to him, he said his mother suddenly told him to run a DNA test on his children. She has refused to give. Because I trust my wife. I told her I can't because I trust my wife. My mother has left the house and refused to speak to me. I had to inform my wife about this. My elder sister advised me to do what Mama wants. Should I? So that's Chukudi's question tonight. He's asking, should I do what Mama wants? And this is where he needs your advice. The number to call to give Chukudi some advice tonight is 07000-917-917. 917-917. You can also send in a text or a WhatsApp message to 0703-175-6537. 0703-175-6537. And of course, anyway, I in the world, you can also listen live via the website www.wfm917.com www.wfm917.com So please when you call, ensure that you turn the volume of the radio completely off. To also join the group chat, you can send your information, your name and your contact number. Send your name and your contact number. Indicating interest in joining the group, to 0703 175 6537. Send your name and contact number indicating interest in joining the group. Send that information via WhatsApp, please. Via WhatsApp to 0703 175 6537. As always, we take messages off of the Adult Conversations Family Group Chat first before we start to receive calls. So I'll be taking messages from there first. <coughs> First message coming in tonight is from Francis from Ibafo. Francis is saying, Good evening to all the adult conversation family members. Hope our day was great. 
especially you're a married man and a man of yourself. So nobody has the right to control you in your house. If she can't tell you the reason behind the DNA test, then so be it. She left the house without informing you. Mr. Chikudi, you don't have to worry about your mother. She'll come back to the house by herself. If you truly trust your wife, as you said, I see no reason why you hide anything from her. Open up to her and tell her everything. And that is from Francis from Ibafu. A mommy from Ikori, good evening, Mr. Chikudi. Your mother that asked you to have a DNA may have her reasons. And for your mom to leave the house and not talk to you again, that means she's sure of what she sees in your wife. Even if you saw her with another man or something else, try and do what your mommy said. And that's from a mommy from Iko Good evening, all. Uh, this is coming from John from Agege. He says, what an adult sees while sitting down, even if a child comes up, he or she can't see it. Please, Mr. Chukudi, listen to your mother. Although it's your family, but your mother may have some reasons for that. Or she's your mother, you should know how to approach her so that she can open up. For your wife, don't tell her yet. I'll find out the reason for the DNA test. Okay? And that's from um, John, physiotherapist from Adigo. This one is coming from Topper from the Kuribu. Topper says, good evening, my people in the house. My advice to Chibibi is that ordinarily no third party should be allowed to influence and interfere in the affairs of your marriage. I'm pretty sure that your mother and sister have reasons for asking you to run a DNA test on your two girls. If you can afford the test, do it once and for all to put the devil to shame. Failure to do this now could spell doom for the family in the near future. One day shall never end. And that's from top right from the Kuribu. Okay, there's another message, but the person doesn't say where you're texting from. All right, so this one's coming from Taiwo from E4. Taiwo says, Good evening, a little conversation from me. Just our day. Want your wife to get hurt. Anyway, follow your heart. Things are really happening now. And that's from Tyro from Ethan. Okay, Godwin Ashiku from Lucky is saying, First, I want to ask her a question. When she gave birth to Mr. Chukudu, did she do a DNA test to prove innocent? Mr. Chukudu, please, for peace to win, just act like a fully functional man by applying your own reason. Watch your wife and observe her in the next taking. Don't allow the devil to use money to cause a thunder in your home. There comes a time in one's life whereby you don't take all day every room. So since you trust your wife and you know you're the owner of the children, then forget from his advance. You can only do it if you're doubting your spiritually. Please stand as a man and say no, since she refused. House. My advice from Mr. Chikudi is that he should do the DNA test. Your mom might have seen some evidence that she doesn't want it to come out from her mouth, but she wants you to get the fact by yourself. Also, it's better to get the reality now, so you will not go and regret in the future if you later know that the two girls are not yours. Remember that your mother is your mother, and she wants only good for you. Okay, so please keep the messages coming in, and we're taking calls on the show. Next call is 07000-9179. Nine one seven nine seven. 
Now, let me quickly take these ones. First set of messages, this is from Kamri. It says, you should do it, Chukudu. One woman has caught her son wife, has caught her son's wife a driver in 2005. Anything can happen. He must talk to his wife with good manners. There must be a reason. All right. Uh, this one says, Hermes B3 from our 12 says, his mother may have found out something about his wife, which he might not be aware of. So the man should ask his wife some questions. Okay. Why all from Ikeja says, tonight's issue is technical. The first question is, how long did your mother stay with you before she left? Was there a strange relationship between your mother and your wife? If not, she might have seen things you were overlooking. But if you truly trust your wife, going ahead with the DNA test without tact may completely destroy your family, especially if the test confirms the children are yours. If you must continue at all, find a way of giving excuse that you are thinking of relocating the family and DNA is a must, and that is why you want to do it. You will still be lucky if the result confirms that the children are not yours. But if they are yours, you will need a trust building mechanism between your wife and you for believing your mother over her, as she will feel let down. All right. Thank you very much. Again, the number to call is 0709171717. And you can also send in a text or WhatsApp message from 0703 175 The message I read last is from YO from Ikeja. We're taking calls, can we call in and give can we call in and give some advice to our profiler tonight, to our story tonight? Mr. Chukudi needs advice, so can we call in and give advice to Mr. Chukudi tonight? Hello, good evening. Hello. Good evening, can you hear me? Good evening, thank you for calling. Come in. Uh, thank you, thank you, I just need to do it. <laughs> How are you doing today? I'm here to offer some professor and the power I'm looking at and do what you're doing. Thank you. Comrade is our first caller for tonight, and he's saying that she needs to, that Mr. Chukudu needs to talk to his mother first. He needs to talk to his mother and figure out what the challenge is first. Find out what the mother's real reasons for wanting the DNA test for the two girls. Find out what that reason is. And then, after he has found out what the reason is, then he can talk to his wife. Comrade think that it's better for Chukudu to know what the issue is before he talks to his wife to avoid the marriage crumbling. Hello, good evening. Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Good evening. Please speak out. Please speak out. I need to hear you. Where are you calling from? Hello? Please try to call back. Try to call back so we can hear you properly. All right, so tonight's matters arising is one that is very, very, very intricate. It's very intricate in in our nature. And this is one that requires a lot of tact when it's being addressed. 
So as we always say, please don't sound accusatory or condemnatory in any way. Just give your advice and just provide your solution within your advice on this. Sorry, good evening. Good evening. For calling. Please ask your name or where you're calling from. Hello, Benjamin. Good to hear from you. Thank you for calling today. How are you doing? I hope your day was good. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Awesome, awesome. Is that a particular reason why this is your advice? Thank you very much, Benjamin. Thank you for calling. All right. So Benjamin is of the opinion that he should listen to Mama. Chukwu did listen to Mama and get the DNA test done. He's saying this because, according to him, what an adult is sitting down, a young person or a child cannot see it standing up or even flying physically. Now, the reason for this, according to Benjamin, is because there might be something that Mama has seen. Maybe it's some indiscretion on the part of Chukudi's wife, but she doesn't want to voice out from what she has seen. She doesn't want to voice out what it is that she has seen by herself. She wants Chukudi to find out. This goes in line with one of the messages I read earlier. And uh, um, Benjamin is basically agreeing with that message, saying that Mama may have seen something, but he, he, she doesn't want to be the one to see it. She wants Chukudi to find out for himself. Yes, Adebayo from Kit is one who sent that message and Benjamin is basically agreeing with the contents of that message. Now, um, yes, so uh, Benjamin ends with the fact that Mama should, that Chukudi should actually go ahead and listen to Mama. My only question here would be, if there really is something that Mama is seeing, shouldn't Mama tell Chukudi, or is Mama um, cautious of the fact that Chukudi may not be able to handle that information is mama concerned that Chukudi may not be able to handle what it is that she might tell him concerning his wife which is why she's recommending a DNA test then another question I'll ask is the strained relationship somebody mentioned that and I was going to ask that earlier is there a strained relationship with mom, between mama and Chukudi's wife so Chukudi if you're listening can you answer you and uh, your wife and Mama, do they get along? Does Mama like your wife? Do they have a good relationship? Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you doing? Good evening. Thank you. Good evening. How are you doing today? Good evening. Hope you had a good day. Good evening. Good evening. Well, thank you very much for asking. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Uh, 
I tried, I cannot see what's funny. It depends on the situation, it depends on the wisdom of the academic person involved. It depends on the understanding and exposure. I have seen people who are far more younger, who are the do a level of intelligence that an academic person cannot be seen. Mm. Yes, that's very true. That's true. That's true. So, so. Be careful how we ask Mama I will put it. You think you learn what Mama is the first thing. My result of saying is, it is. You know that this saying that your best secret trying to say that maybe they are young yeah. okay Hopefully we can get to the bottom of it. Thank you very much. Right, so that's between Ben, and between Ben is saying that he thinks that the story is not quite adding up. And he's looking at it from the perspective of Mama's silence so far, having lived with the family for a while. 
we the story doesn't say how long uh, Mama has been living with Chukudi's family, but the supposition, according to the band, is that she's been living with them for quite a while. So if she has been living with them for quite a while, and now out of the blue she's saying that um, Chukudi should do a DNA test or do DNA tests on his two girls without giving a reason. According to the Kimban, he says that there's something wrong and she probably knows something, but she doesn't want to tell um, Chukudi. So, the Kimban's suggestion is that if Chukudi can get the DNA test done without the um, knowledge of both Mama and his wife, get it done, get the results, and then he can approach the situation. So if it's something that comes out negative, but, and by that I mean if, his, if the paternity of the children doesn't turn out to be his, and then he can confront Mama and of course his wife and ask what it is that he doesn't know and how the whole situation came about. But if it's something that it, it later turns out to be his children, then he still needs to ask Mama why uh, Mama wanted him to do the DNA test in the first place. All right. Um, Comrade is saying, last week they told us be careful. They can bend the saying, be careful. Are we forcing Chukudi? They can bend her said it all, let him take them secretly and do a DNA test on them. Um, okay, he said maybe Mama was seeing Magomago somewhere. All right. Thank you very much. Please keep the messages coming in. And if you're just joining, this is a Girls Conversations and you're with my radio, WFM 91.7. Tonight we're discussing Chukudi's story. Chukudi is telling us that he's 33, he's a manufacturer. His wife is 27, she's a trader, and they have two daughters. Chukudi is saying that his mother lives with them, and out of the blue, she suddenly told him to conduct a DNA test on his two girls without reason. She doesn't say why, he doesn't know where this is coming from. Mama is not indicating what the reasons are. According to Chukudi, he said, I told her I can't do that because she's because I trust my wife. Now, Mama has left the house and refused to speak to him. Chukudi said, I haven't informed my wife about this yet. My elder sister advised me to do what Mama wants. So should I do it? The number to call is 07000-917-917. 07000-917-917. You can also send in a text. I WhatsApp message 073 175 6537. is basic concern right now is asking, should I do the DNA test? And let's bear in mind that these two girls are uh, supposedly Chukudi's daughters. Chukudi knows his daughters, these two girls to be his daughters. But he hasn't told his wife about what Mama is asking him to do. So he's basically torn between Mama leaving the house, he disobeying Mama, and he actually doing the DNA test and getting the results that will come out. And, all, and also telling his wife about it. So what to do? He's torn. So he's asking, what do I do? Hello, good evening. Good evening, thank you for calling. Please ask your name and where you're calling from. Your name again, please. My name is T.Y. I'm calling from Ikorobi. T.Y. from Ikorobi. Yes. All right. T.Y., are you calling for the first time?
I can't really hear you again. The line is breaking really, really badly. But basically, I get your points and I appreciate you for calling. So thank you very much. Okay. So according to T.Y., he's saying that the first step would be for Mama to talk to Chukudi to actually tell him the real reason why she wants him to get the DNA test done. T.Y. is saying without that reason, he doesn't think that Chukudi should go ahead with getting the DNA test done. Because he's saying the results of that test can be detrimental to the marriage, to their family, to their unit as built already. And he thinks that if Mama doesn't say the reason, then uh, Chukudi should not bother going ahead with the DNA test. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, thank you for calling. Please, what's your name and where are you calling from? Please tell me your name. Tell me your name, please, and where you're calling from. I've been Bola from my 12. Thank you very much. Are you calling for the first time? Okay. My name is
the number one confirmation of my stand side that it should be mine, not for another part. Because of what the mother is feeling, she is feeling again that we protect should be in Christian. Okay, back in 13 years now, the father of the children, the father of the country, the one who is you, the mother is still trying to protect the son. And that the son should not be any form of harassment. There's no argument no. there. There's no argument there, Thank Abimbala. You. There's no argument that the mother is trying to protect uh, her son. But the question yeah. here is why isn't she telling him what she thinks the suspicion is? Why isn't she telling him why isn't she telling him what she thinks the suspicion is? Why isn't she telling him what she's suspecting? Because Chukudi says is asking that he's asking for a reason. But Chukudi is Chukudi is her is her son. Chukudi is her son, and he's a grown man as well. How do you mean between life and death? Please, can you explain? Yes, because of love. She be talking that love. Between is it between the mother and Chukudi or between Chukudi and his wife? Between the son and the wife. So if I get you correctly, Abimbola, you are saying that you are saying that Chukudi should do the test, but he should tell his wife, he's open up to his wife, she tell her everything. You are sounding like you know for sure that the wife has something to hide. What if there's nothing to hide? I understand that. What I'm asking is if there is nothing to hide. What I'm asking is if you are sounding as if you know for a fact that there's something to hide, that Chukudi's wife is guilty of something. So what I'm asking is, what if there's nothing to hide? So if there's nothing to hide, that means Chukudi does the test. After telling his wife that he wants to do the test, then she allows him to do the test, only to now find out that, oh, the children are his. You don't think that that would cause a betrayal of trust between Chukudi and his wife, that Mama will not be directly involved in? No. It's not about maturity. It's about trust. Okay. Uh, I've been born because of time. Let's let's talk to other people, okay? Well, thank you very much. Thank you so much. All right, I think Abin Bala's basic point is that uh, he should go ahead and do the test. And this is because uh, he believes that Mama possibly knows what she's saying, but doesn't want to tell Chukudi exactly what it is that her suspicions are. So he's saying that um, Chukudi should go ahead and do the test. But rather than what a lot of other people have said earlier, which is the fact that he should not tell the wife, uh, Abin Bala is saying, tell you, tell your wife. Tell, him, tell her that you want the DNA test done. And then if there's something to fess up on, if there's something to confess, 
she will confess before even the DNA test is done because you're at that point you're already asking so if there really is something to her she's going to fess up and just say what it is because she knows that the DNA test is going to bring out the truth so according to Abin Bala he says just listen to mama and get it done so that at the end of the day in 30 years from now there's nothing to regret mama also wants to be sure that her grandchildren are actually her grandchildren and not the children of some other man so that's basically what um, Abin Bala is saying now the reason I was asking is because he was sounding a lot of saying that men are notorious for infidelity. It's the same way that we cannot change the fact or we cannot get away from the fact that women are also um women are also what's it called now? Women also practice infidelity from time to time. We cannot change the fact that men do it, and we cannot change the fact that women do it as well. So in some cases, we've had a lot of situations where um, babies, children that have grown up with a certain family turn out not to be that, that father's children. And it's so heartbreaking, that kind of discovery is so, 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 so heartbreaking. So it could be that Mama does know something, but as um, people have said, maybe she doesn't want to come out and say exactly what it is. So, I guess time will actually tell what the situation is. But now, the, the trust factor is what I was asking Abimbala about. So if the DNA test is conducted, and it comes out to be that Chukudi's children are actually his children, after having told his wife that he wants to conduct a DNA test, what I was asking is, would that break the trust that exists between Chukudi and his wife? Because Chukudi says he trusts his wife. Now, when you look at somebody you trust and tell them, I trust you, but I want to be sure that these children are mine. It's not that I don't trust you, I trust you, I just want to confirm. On a lot of levels, it raises a lot of red flags and the person is thinking, oh, so is it that you really don't trust me? What else do you not trust me about? Um, and things like that, it just goes on. And then there's that seed of distrust that has been sown. So that's what I'm asking. So if it turns out to be taking his children at the end of the day, wouldn't that break the trust that exists between Chukudu and his wife? <coughs> As I always say, if this has been a situation that you've been in before, if this is a situation that you've been in before, you can do well to call the number 07000 917 917. 07000 917 917. And share your story and, of course, give advice to Chukudin. You can also send a text or WhatsApp message to the number 0703 175 6537. 073-175-6537. Hello, good evening. Good evening, thank you very much for calling. Please what's your name and where are you calling from? Your name? Yes, Taufik, where are you calling from, please? From Abiyaga. Okay, thank you for calling. All right, Tafik, are you calling for the first time? Yeah, thank you so much. Yes, yeah, that's for you. Thank you so much. Please go ahead. Uh, so, I am a post-graduate, and I, my wife and my wife are here in the program, and they said something that I
Absolutely, I understand what you're asking. I understand your question. I understand the question. Okay, so I do not have them because I I don't want to start, you know, get on point of view, different from my interest, you know, the simple argument that I made anyone. So yes, if the the demand is very in this matter, if the if the father of the children presently, and then presently the father of the children, mm -hmm. it could have no go out to the case without telling the mother that okay, um we're going out and eventually going for the game is there, I don't know. And the rest is that, oh, we have to, we went out and we spend our money, don't put our money, we run, we went to do some care, malaria tests and all that. It's like, let's come up something up and we don't have anything to do. If the test comes out, if the test comes out that, okay, the children are in, hey, I feel that it can actually now get the wife something like this present. Like, thank you for not disappointing me. And eventually you come up to the wife. Uh, I think it's not that I do not trust you, but then uh, I'm sorry for having a little bit of doubt. Like, it wasn't even a doubt, it was just a form of confirmation. Why would a lecturer teach us in class and he is full of himself that uh, he's a good lecturer and he'll get a lot for us? Um, let me just, I understand your context. Mm -hmm. But let me just say that that analogy, that final point you just made, that analogy does not quite work with this particular situation. So I think what you're trying to say is, give or take, um, Chukudu doesn't have anything to lose. And you're right. You're actually right about that. He really doesn't have anything to lose. And by that, what I mean, so that I'm not um, misquoted, what I mean by that is the knowledge of either or, whether or not the children are his, that knowledge is the game that he has at the end of the day. So if he, if he finds out they're not his, in the sense of loss, it would just be that, oh, the children are not his. But he would gain that knowledge because he didn't know that before. If he finds out they are his, then it's, it's just confirmation of what he already believes. But here's the thing. Yeah. If he does the test in secret, which you're suggesting, you're suggesting rather, and he does the test in secret and then goes back to the wife, and says, oh, malaria test, blah, blah, stuff that you said, and then says, oh, thank you for not disappointing me, not that I didn't trust you. I can assure you to a large extent, and the wife may not say it at that point in time, but to a large extent, there has been a, a seed of doubt and, and mistrust that has been placed in that family. Not because there's any reason, particularly that his children are the end of the day. If they're his children, then everything's okay. But if they're not...